Harry and Meghan have given their support to the King and Princess of Wales following their health scares. It came as Charles prepares for a prostate operation and Kate spent her fifth day in hospital after major abdominal surgery. The move, which will be considered an olive branch, comes nearly two months after Charles, 75, and Kate, 42, were publicly named in an alleged race row over the skin color of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's eldest child Archie, 4. A source said, the King and the Princess of Wales have received support from Prince Harry and Meghan regarding their health. The Duke and Duchess contacted both parties in different ways to pass on their concern and best wishes. It comes after months of claims of a severely strained relationship between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. This week, it was revealed the King has quietly made provision to stop Harry acting as a substitute for him if he falls ill or is abroad. It followed antagonizing revelations in two recent high-profile books. A Dutch edition of Endgame by author Omid Scobie, said to be a mouthpiece for Harry and Meghan, named the King and the Princess of Wales as the royals who allegedly made comments about the color of Archie's skin. This was claimed to be an error involving draft text, and a new biography of King Charles on sale this week claims the Sussex's decision to call their two-year-old daughter Lilibet infuriated the late Queen Elizabeth. Meanwhile, reports claim Harry may have only found out about his father's prostate diagnosis through news sources. Buckingham Palace is said to have tried to privately inform all senior members of the royal family, including Harry, 39, and Meghan, 42, before it was made public on Wednesday. But it is understood courtiers had to put out a public statement, relatively quickly, as the king was forced to cancel imminent public engagements. The announcement was therefore made at 7.25 a.m. California time, fueling reports the Duke may have seen news alerts before any private message. The Princess of Wales was said to be, doing well, last night, but she is expected to remain in the London clinic for up to 10 more days. Her illness has not been revealed, but Kensington Palace confirmed it was not cancer. William, 41, was seen visiting his wife on her private ward on Thursday, flanked by security guards. He is said to have taken time off to be with her and to look after their children Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, over the coming weeks. He is also said to have delayed any engagements while she recuperates. Kate's parents Michael, 74, and Carol Middleton, 68, are also believed to have cleared the diaries to support the couple. Kate is not expected to resume official duties until after Easter, so it is likely she will miss a number of her regular events, including Children's Mental Health Week, the Baptist and the Commonwealth Day service, as well as the Easter church service at Windsor. Royal trips to Latvia and Italy are also reportedly on hold. Charles, who has been ordered to rest, was pictured looking reflective while leaving Burke Hall, his private home on the Balmoral estate in Aberdeenshire, on Friday before flying to his private residence in Norfolk. Dickie Arbiter, a former press secretary to the Queen, said the Sussexes made the right move. He said, it's good they've recognized his sister-in-law has gone in for what is obviously serious surgery and his father is going in to have surgery at 75. It's the right thing to do to acknowledge it. I'm pleased for Catherine and the King. It's unusual and unprecedented to have two senior royals in hospital at the same time. January is usually quiet on the royal front and it makes sense that both operations are done now, sooner rather than later. The Queen would always have wanted the relationship rebuilt, but she wasn't going to see it in her lifetime. There were too many other things going on. Asked if he thinks the relationship can ever be fully rebuilt, he said, don't hold your breath. 